How's it going YouTube? Dawn here. In this video, we're going to talk about whether you should learn Swift UI or UI Kit in, in terms of uh, iOS development. So, typically, when you get into iOS development, you have two options. You can either learn Swift UI or UI Kit, also known as storyboards, right? So, I just wanted to talk a little bit about you know what the differences are and kind of the demand because the demand is going to be the most important part of it right and I'm going to learn also talk about you know use cases of each one because although there are some pros and cons to both I do believe that uh, what you want to learn really depends on your journey into iOS development so let's get into it let's talk about what the differences are and I'm going to be really brief with this because you know you can look at a lot of videos and you can look at Apple's documentation to kind of take a look at the differences but in a nutshell uh, Swift UI is going to be more programmatic so it's going to be I guess you could say your more traditional uh, programming languages whereas when it comes to storyboards you have more of that visual element that's really really good if you're getting into coding for the first time right because you can see how each element interacts with the code and stuff like that. So with that being said, let's get to the first point in the next uh, point, which is, you know, what are the use cases for both of them? I do believe that if you're starting out and you have no programming experience, I do recommend that you start with storyboards, right? So the reason why is because it's just an, I really like uh, Apple's way of implementing it and implementing storyboards, and it really helps you to get that visual element. It's like, okay this is what a table view looks like for example and this is what a UI text label looks like and here's how you uh, interact with the code here you're gonna assign a weak uh, a weak text label of type UI label for example so it's a great way for you to kind of uh, get into the iOS development world but here's a problem with it right the problem with it is most companies are going to want you to use Swift UI. The reason for this is a lot of companies out there are going to be production level companies that are typically going to be using uh, going to be using design features such as MVVM, MVC. Well, MVC is not really used all that much, but mainly you're going to see a lot of companies use MVVM because it's just a lot more scalable and it's more organized. Right, I can get to another video on what MVVM actually is and the differences between MVC and MVP. Stay tuned and make sure you like the video if you're interested in a video like that. So, getting back to the point here, uh, these companies will typically be looking for those, right? But that's not to say that storyboards are inherently useful, right? So if you're in a small team, if you're a small development team and there's not a lot of people who are going to be accessing the code maybe you're a freelancer and you know maybe this is just a small app you're going to be using for a local business of yours and they're not really too concerned about you know whether this is scalable whether they're going to use it in the future then yeah go ahead and use storyboards but if you have programming experience already maybe you're moving from android development or web development and you just want something that's gonna get you a job the fastest I recommend, uh, I recommend that you learn Swift UI because it's just going to be a lot more useful to you when it comes to getting a job, right? It, but if you're in the beginning phases of your coding journey, please do storyboards, even though the companies might not like it. Just the fact that you have iOS development experience is going to be better than somebody who doesn't have any experience whatsoever, right? So that's just a quick video on some of the differences between Swift UI and UI Kit or storyboards, right? So if you want to see more iOS development content, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Like the video, it really lets me know that you enjoy content like this. And make sure to hit subscribe as it really helps support the channel and lets me know that you enjoy content like this and encourages me to make more. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.